Productions, the Don Aslett Cleaning Company. Right. Great American success story. Don Aslett, putting himself through college back in Idaho mm -hmm. a few years ago, <laughs> decided that he would help to pay for his own tuition, started cleaning. And he would work late at night cleaning an office building here or going into a retail store. Now, how many square feet do you guys clean every night? We're, we're well over 400 million square feet that our 5,000 employees clean every single night. And we all have our own little carts and yep. this broom, along with our microfiber mop, our microfiber towels, is on every one it's of our staple. carts. Now, the only thing that has changed on this broom is the color. Right. Exactly. Uh, and that's just because fashions do change. What you're going to get <laughs> is you're going to get the original rubber top broom along with a handheld. Best pet brush you'll ever find, right there. Our price is actually less today than it was when you first came to us. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and we want to show you the difference because brooms really have not changed that much in about 100 years. Yeah, if you, most people are familiar with a straw or nylon broom. This is actually an angled broom. If you're used to a big giant commercial push broom you would use in a garage, okay. this is angled the same way. So you can use it indoors as a pull broom, outdoors as a push broom, plus it's got the squeegee. Now I'm gonna put this down on the hardwood floor. Now what I did is I, I have a bunch of pet hair down here and it's the blonde kind of hair that's hard to see. Okay. It's right on the hardwood. All I'm gonna do is sweep for a couple of inches here and I wanna show you the line of hair. Yep. You almost didn't see that. What happens here, Dan, is all these rubber tips, they come together and you see these Y flaps on the back? When, you, when you're using this inside as a pull broom, nothing can get through the 500 rubber fingers. It becomes a wall right. of all, clean. There's all your dirt. There was salt, there was sand, there's sugar on the floor. Now that, that's simple enough. You want to see a really challenged yeah. job over here? Now this is a lot of pet hair on an oriental style rug, which is very hard to even vacuum off sometimes. These rubber fingers, they grip the hair and they roll it off of the carpet. Now, there's a couple things I want to tell everybody. You notice when I swept the hardwood floor, all I did was I swept, yep. okay? If you try to sweep a carpet, you're gonna kind of slide over the hair. So here's what you do. Instead of sweeping, you wanna brush the carpet. Short that's, strokes. That's the only learning curve you're ever gonna need to know about this broom. And actually, the other thing is, don't press hard on the broom. If you press hard, you lay the bristle yeah, flat. You don't have to. Light, br light strokes actually works the best. So now, the other piece that comes with this kit is our, our little pet brush. Now I'm gonna do something that's not my favorite thing in the world to do. Get that, pet that hair. That looks like me every day <laughs> okay. when I come home from work. <laughs> right. Because the first thing that happened, we have five dogs in the house and they jump up to say hello. Right, now this could be your couch, your, your sofa, whatever it may be. These rubber fingers work the same way that the broom does. All I'm gonna do is brush my pants off. What happens here is the rubber actually breaks the static charge that the hair has with your clothes. Okay. Now before you'd ever get that much hair on you, this is a pet brush. Use it on your pets, it's really soft. Gets into the corners of the staircase, and we're gonna show you that in a little bit. Yep. We have a shot of that. So, and, and you get both. Yes. You get both for $18 and change. Uh, I, I have the original that was yellow. Right, and exactly. I use them not only indoors, but outdoors, <laughs> because it becomes the perfect scrubbing brush. And we're gonna show you a couple demonstrations. Yeah, now this is something that's happened to everybody at one point or another in their life. You, you're changing a light bulb, you're up on a chair, oh, you slip and boom, you break the light bulb. In fact, maybe it was a double fixture. We're gonna break two of them. Okay. But just to make it a little worse, Dan, I'm gonna take my foot and crunch this glass up into a thousand shards here. So that could be the kitchen floor where you're walking around barefoot. Right, now you would never want to walk on that with your bare feet if you swept it with a straw broom. You'd still be afraid. Right. When I go over this with the rubber tips, remember there's 500 rubber tips here. It gets between the grout lines. It gets the tile clean. I've done that this. That was one pass. One pass that you saw, I only did that and there's never a sliver of glass. That's how well the broom works. Nothing is even left in the grout lines. Perfectly clean, just with it one swipe. That's how it works, okay? Now, <laughs> as I fall down. <laughs> <laughs> he's breaking light bulbs, he's perfectly safe. I'm the one falling down. Use it as a scrubber as well, like out in the, the garage, uh, for getting yeah. oil stains, things like that. Well, up. exactly, here, this and is- most people, for some reason, most people do not have a squeegee in their regimen of cleaning tools. Exactly, and this has one built right into it. So if you're scrubbing grease off the garage floor, if you want to get mold off your patio, use a deck cleaner. When you're all done, you flip it over, you've got the built-in squeegee right on the back to squeegee yep. the excess soap and water right out of the way. Simple as that. $18.60, it's the Don Aslett Rubber Broom. We give you the handheld as well, and there's a demonstration of just getting the garage cleaned up, but you really should try this in comparison to any other type of broom that you've got. Regular brooms haven't changed a lot 
in ages. Yeah. Why not have something that's more effective? And you saw the bed liner of the truck. Yep. I, I have one of these in the back of my truck because there's always mulch in my truck that I'm doing. I've used it to remove with. snow. Yeah, exactly. For the you use a squeegee on your windshield. On my truck because I can reach the. You know, I'm not a tall guy, so I can reach the the middle of the windshield. With exactly. It. <laughs> now look at if you have a carpeted staircase, it gets right into that little edge there. That's almost impossible. And again, look at. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> your puppy's bored. <laughs> yeah. Good dog. So outside on your porch, your patio, your breezeway, you, you, you're not going to wear this out. There's two inches of rubber on here. Uh -huh. Your car tires only have a half an inch of rubber, and they last 50,000 miles. Okay. You know, what, what's your other choice? A straw broom or a nylon broom or rubber? You can wash it. It's reusable. Now, I, I, let me show you on the carpet here. Now, pretty simple. Again, I'm just going to do a quick little brush you get, here. You get a wall of clean. Exactly. Uh, now, again, this is one of those products that we've seen for years. Uh, if you've been watching the show for any length of time, you've seen it. Today's the day you ought to say, you know what, let's get a better broom. Yeah. And you get the handheld with it, and it's at a better price than it ever was. So $18.60 <laughs> brings it to you. Thank you, my friend. You got it, Dan. Appreciate it. All right. It is right now time to take a good look at our today's special 